Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to be testing the Flower Beauty brand. Like I'm so excited about this. I have seen this brand for a good few years now and I've always wanted to try some bits from this brand. So if you don't know guys, it is now available here in the UK which is like so amazing. Like I'm just so excited about this. And it's actually available in Superdrug. Um, I, th I believe it's just online just now. And I think after the new year in January it will be in store. I also think it's going to be here for a limited time. So like if you want to get your hands on some Flower Beauty. Then check out Superdrug's website right now. Do some research on some other products as well. And grab some while you can. Because like I think it's only here for a limited time. If you don't know about the brand Flower. Then it's actually owned by Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore is the owner. Really really excited about this and I've been dying to try her products for a while. So I've got a couple of things to try today and they're all face products. So I have the new Light Illusion Foundation which is this one here. How stunning is the packaging for this? Like I love it. I love this kind of rose gold bit right there. It's really pretty. So this is an all day wear foundation and also has a luminous finish to it as well. So very excited about this. Um, I also have the Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer which is in this package right here. That's what the concealer looks like there. It has flower written in big writing on the front there and has this nice rose gold bit to it as well just like the foundation. So that's the two of them there. Like how gorgeous is this packaging like for drugstore? Like that is amazing. I love it. Then I also have their Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. So that's what it looks like there. Has a little pump on it as you can see there. So very excited to try this out because this one says it has a dewy finish to it. Okay, so let's start off with the foundation. So again, this is what it looks like here. Stunning, stunning packaging. And I've actually already um, moisturised um, and hydrated my skin with the Caudalie Reno Perfect hydrating serum. Now we're going to go in with this and I have this in the shade Natural Beige. It comes with a little pump there which is great and this is a luminous finish foundation so it's going to give me a nice bit of glowiness to the face. Well hopefully it does. Uh, I really do like foundations that give a nice kind of healthy glow to the skin so yeah looking forward to seeing how this goes. So I'm just going to apply um, a little bit to one side first just to see what the coverage is like. Well, the shade looks not too bad actually for my tan right now. It looks quite good. So I'm just going to apply this much just now and I'm going to blend it in with the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. Yeah, that shade is really nice actually. It's got a nice undertone to it there. It matches my skin really well. You can see it has that really kind of dewy finish to it. It's looking really nice on the skin and the coverage is great. Like it's quite a high coverage foundation actually. Like it covers like all this redness that I have. Like you see this redness here which I had on that side as well. It's covered that basically which is really really good. Yeah I do like the coverage of this and the finish is gorgeous. Like it's very like healthy but kind of skin like on your face as well which is really lovely so I'm liking the finish of it so far okay yeah the coverage of this is really nice it's like a high coverage foundation um there's like little bits of you know darkness and um, just peeking through in my eye area but I haven't really covered that much because I like to use concealer for there anyway but it's covered like most of the redness there on my cheeks like you don't see much of it there like this side as you can see this red part here and there's not much on that side so yeah like it has a really really glowy and dewy finish to it so if you are more oily then I don't know if this foundation will be for you because it is super dewy super glowy and um, you could obviously set it down with some powder but I don't have oily skin type I have more normal to combination skin type um, yeah so the glowy and dewiness is not really an issue for me but if you are more oily then it could be a problem this foundation for you and um, you would probably have to set it down um, but the actual like finish of it is lovely it's quite skin like if you know what I mean I really do like it and for me personally I love the kind of glowy and dewy look um, yeah the coverage is great as well so I'm now just going to go on and do this side
Okay, so that's me applied it to both sides now and it's looking absolutely gorgeous. Like I love the coverage of this and like look how glowy and dewy this is. Like I think I might need to set it down a little bit, you know, for when I put like my bronze and things on because they are more powdery products. Oh, and I forgot to mention it feels super lightweight on the skin as well. Like I feel like I don't have any foundation on which is good. So yeah, really liking this so far. So now I'm going to move on to the concealer. Um, again, this is what the concealer looks like. It's also the Light Illusion Concealer and it's a full coverage concealer. That's what the applicator looks like there. It's quite a long doe foot applicator. Um, so I'm just going to apply this to my under eye area because that's where I like to um, really conceal is under my eye area really. Um, I don't have that many kind of dark spots or uh, many blemishes on uh, the rest of my face so I just really like to kind of conceal and highlight the under eye area. So I have this in the shade light. So I'm just going to apply it in little kind of V shapes or triangle shapes as some people call it. So um, just going to do that there. Quite a light formula actually. Applies really nicely. It's quite um, smooth, quite um, liquidy. And I'm going to blend this in with my Morphe M536 brush. This is what we're looking like now with that blended in and that actually gives a lot of coverage as you can see it's really covered the darkness in the inner corner there let me just look a little bit closer here yeah like that's covered a lot i would say it's probably like medium to full you could probably build up a little bit it doesn't really give me that kind of highlighted brightening effect sort of thing but it does conceal like um, all the darkness and things like that because normally with my concealers I like them to be um, a little bit lighter than the actual foundation I have so that it gives me that kind of highlighted and lifted look you know from under the eye area um, as well as covering like all the darkness and things but this one just kind of like covers all my darkness Um yeah doesn't really give me that highlighted brightening effect but still it's really really nice Also what I like to do is apply a little bit of concealer in the centre of my forehead, just about here actually, and on my chin, and that will sort of like highlight those little areas as well. So when I apply my bronzer and my contour, my face looks a bit more kind of defined, but I don't think with this concealer actually I'm going to get that kind of highlighted look if I do that, so I'm going to try it like in this just right here really where I normally put uh, my concealer and also here just to see if it gives me that kind of um, brightening look there. Okay so it does a little bit but I think my other concealers that I normally use it gives me a little bit more of a kind of highlighted look there but like it's still really really nice like I said it's a really good coverage concealer um, yeah, it covers really well actually, kind of melts into the skin really nicely too. Let me just look a little bit closer. Yeah, it just melts really nicely into the skin. So that's how the concealer looks now that I've applied it to all the areas where I normally conceal. And I really do like it. The coverage is great for this. It feels really good on the skin. You know, it doesn't feel sticky or tacky. It also doesn't look dry or cakey on the face either. It melts really nicely in with the foundation. The colour is really good. It does match the foundation that I have. So this one is the shade Light. And the foundation I have is Natural Beige. And they two go well together. You know, the concealer just adds that extra coverage for, like, the dark areas. Um... Yeah, really, really nice concealer. Do like this. Now what I'm going to do is set my concealer. So I'm going to use the Revolution Imagination Palette. And I'm going to take the Pretty Heart Setting Shade, which is the one up the top right here, this one right here. I'm going to use that to set the concealer. So I'm just setting this concealer because it is quite a glowy and dewy one. Um, I don't want it to slip or slide and also I don't want it to kind of crack or crease. So just setting it will help with that and right now it's looking really really good. Goes well with that powder. Okay so now what I'm going to do is apply the rest of my face makeup. Okay guys so I'm back and I've applied all the rest of my face makeup. And this is how the foundation and concealer are looking now with all my powders on top. And it's looking really, really nice. So I'm just going to get up 
close into my mirror just to see. Okay, so around the nose we're looking fine. We don't see any uh, cracks or cakiness at all there. All the rest of the face look really nice. It's a nice dewy look to it. The powder is sitting really nicely on top. Everything has just like melted together really nicely. So yeah, it still has a really nice kind of dewy and glowy look to it even though I set um, the areas on my face with my powder. Yeah, really really pretty. It looks very healthy on the skin. Super lightweight, like I don't feel like I have anything on at all. So hopefully the glowiness and dewiness lasts all day. But I'm going to actually use the Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. And this is a dewy finish setting spray. And it says here, locks in makeup and hydrates the face. Protects from pollution particles and moisture and it's moisture boosting and all you need to do is just spray this after you've applied your makeup so you just shake it up a little bit so it has a pump obviously and let's see what the mist is like so this is what the mist is like so it's quite fine really nice smell from it like it's so so fresh so I have little dots on my face just now but that'll melt into the skin once it's dry. I'm really liking this so far and I see that it's added a little bit more um, glowiness to the skin which is lovely so yeah really liking this. So let me just sum up so far on the product. So first of all we use the Flower Light Illusion Foundation and this is an all wear luminous finish foundation and this is really lovely like it feels super lightweight on the skin and the coverage is really good of this. It's very kind of high coverage. As you can see it has a nice glowy finish to it. Um, if you are more oily skin then this might be a bit too glowy for you, you know it might not mix well with the oils in your skin, you might look too greasy. If you do give this a go then I would see to kind of set it with some translucent setting powder. I'm really liking this so far, um, I love the finish, the formula, the shade of this is really nice. Yeah I love the packaging for this as well, like for drugstore this packaging is absolutely stunning. So for the concealer, um, this says it's a, this is a light, light illusion concealer and it says it's a full coverage concealer. So this I would say is quite a high coverage concealer, you know like you could probably build up a little bit more if you wanted to depending on how dark your blemishes are but for me like one little kind of application was fine for me and it gave me really good coverage and it covered all the darkness in the inner corner there and um, so it does say on the packaging here that it's a weightless formula that feels skin like and it's also crease proof so I don't see any creasing let me just get up close again yeah, like I don't see any creasing, but like I said, I did set it with that uh, powder from the Imagination palette. Um, but yeah, it looks really good and I like that it kind of blended well with the foundation. Um, it was a good match there, so I like the applicator on it too. Like it's a nice uh, long doe foot applicator there. Um, the formula is nice and kind of um, creamy, you know, it's, uh, it goes on really nicely. It's not like sticky or tacky, which is good. So really like the concealer so far. And then lastly, the Seal the Deal Setting Spray. So um, this feels really nice on the skin. I like the mist in it, you know, it has a nice um, fine mist there. And also the smell of it is lovely and refreshing. So I like that. And I see that it's added a little bit more kind of glowiness to the skin, which is good. So hopefully it keeps the makeup in place all day. But yeah, so far, really nice. I do like this as well. So that's my thoughts on the foundation, concealer and setting spray so far. Um, I will update you a little bit later on to see how the, the products are looking on the skin. But yeah, right now I'm really liking them and I'm looking forward to seeing how they hold up throughout the day. So guys, this is what we're looking like now. And this is actually an hour and a half, I think. Let me just see. We applied at one o'clock. So we're now at um, 2.25, if you can see that right there. Hang on, let me just put it here. Can you see that at the top there? 2.25. It's almost an hour and a half. Um, but yeah, so this is what we're looking like now. And right now, I think it's looking still really, really good. Like, um, this is the first time I've checked it, actually, um, since... Yeah, I don't see any cakiness or dryness, like, around the nose area or anything like that, which is good. Um, I don't see any creasing under the eyes. Um, it does say it's a crease-proof concealer, so I'm glad about that. Like, if you can see that there, I don't even know if you'll be able to see with this camera, guys. I don't know if this bloody smoothing thing's on, is it? I don't even have it on, but yet it's still on the camera. Like, I don't get it. But anyway, um, I'm probably best maybe using my other camera for this, you know, my DSR camera, because this one has, like, some smoothing thing on it, but... Um, 
when I'm looking at it right now, it looks absolutely flawless. You know, it doesn't look um, patchy or cakey or anything like that. Like, it literally looks so good. Like, I'm so impressed with this. And I love that um, it has that kind of really glowy and dewy finish to it. I'm really impressed with it. And I love the colour of it. Like, I think um, this is actually a bit better lighting actually to see the colour of it because like with my DSLR camera sometimes if you don't get the ISO right you know the, the you know the colours a little bit lighter sometimes but like this is like the natural colour of the foundation here and I absolutely love it it's gorgeous it goes well with a little bit of tan that I have on so yeah this is a shade natural beige just in case um I did mention it, I think but just in case you forget um it's natural uh, natural beige so it's a really nice um, colour, the concealer again is in the shade light so that is really nice as well and yeah I really do like how this is looking right now and I'm hoping it stays like this because like like so far I love like how it feels in the skin, I love the glowing dewiness to it and I also love the packaging for it like it's gorgeous especially for like drugstore it is absolutely stunning so I'm really hoping that it looks great the other day and you know sometimes I can tell straight away when I apply like a foundation and concealer if I'm going to like it like normally if I don't like it I like it from like the get-go if you know what I mean but like um when I applied this one it felt really nice and really good so I'm convinced it's going to look good the rest of the day but um I'm hoping I'm right but yeah so far I'm really loving it I don't have any complaints about it at all um, I do have more normal to combo skin types. I'm not too oily, so the foundation looks really good on me. You know, I don't see a buildup of oils on my skin. Like, the glowing dewiness that's on my face right now is basically coming from that foundation. Oh, and also, actually, I had that Caudalie um, Radiant Cinema underneath, which I apply before all, you know, before all my foundations, really. And that has a little bit of uh, glowiness to it. Like it makes your skin really kind of bright and really glowy. So even that is probably adding to the extra gl glowiness you know underneath and like I still love how it looks like I don't think I've looked too over glowy or too over dewy either it's just that perfect amount really and I did set it with um that um setting powder you know like on the outer perimeters like here I set you know before I bronze and contour which I normally like to do so that you don't get patchy or like muddy or anything or cakey um so yeah Right now, I have no complaints about it. I think it is really gorgeous. But I'll check in again once later to see how I'm going. Okay, guys, so just checking in again. And this is how we are looking. So what I've noticed um, so far, actually, is the the foundation. Like, the foundation doesn't look as dewy and as glowy as it did when I first applied it. You know, it's looking a little bit more matte on my skin. Oh, I never showed you the time there, actually. Sorry, we're at 5.41, if you can see that there. 541 so that is how long so we applied it at one so that's two three four five like four hours 40 minutes really sort of thing since I first applied it which isn't really a long time at all for a foundation and to kind of went um like more matte in those hours is a bit odd um, I haven't sprayed that setting spray or anything since earlier on I might do that in a minute just to see if it adds a little bit more kind of um dewiness to the skin um but yeah, like I say, so I think it looks a little bit more matte on my skin now, not as dewy and as glowy as it first was when I first applied it. And also I noticed around my nose area there, it's a little bit cakey, like it's not too cakey, but it's starting to cake up a little bit around there. Uh, but everywhere else it looks really flawless, you know, everywhere, you know, around the sides of my face, everything like that looks great. It's just the nose area, but I think that's most people's problem area. So yeah, right now I think the foundation is nice, like I don't think it holds up its dewiness. But like I still think it's a really nice foundation. It looks flawless on the skin and it still feels quite lightweight and quite hydrating on the skin. So the concealer I think is really nice. Like that is still holding up really well. I haven't seen it looking dry or cakey or anything in my under eye area. Um, yeah, it says it's a crease proof concealer and I haven't seen it creasing or anything like that which is really really good. I think that's looking really good and it's going well with the foundation you know they're sitting really nicely together so really liking that. So yeah, now what I'm going to do is just spray a little bit of the setting spray. So this does say it has a dewy finish to it but like I said I don't feel like it's kept its um, dewiness on my skin for that long. Well I did like apply this four and a half hours ago. 
smells so refreshing and it feels great when it goes on the skin. It says in the back here that it locks in makeup which I think it's done you know it's kept my makeup in place for the past four hours or so so far. It also says it hydrates the skin which I think it does when I first apply it it's nice and hydrating and it keeps me hydrated for quite a while. Um, now it does say that here that it does a heavy dewy finish so when you first apply it it does give you that nice dewy look but I don't think it lasts that long really because like I feel like my, my skin's a little bit more mattified. Spraying this on should like help keep it nice and dewy I'm hoping. But yeah it's a really nice setting spray. I feel like it's kept my makeup in place really well. I just don't think it has that super super dewy finish to it. I'm actually looking forward to using that with a little bit more of a matte foundation you know to see that it sort of like makes it a little bit dewier. Um, yeah I think that would be quite good. Yeah guys this will be my last check in because I've got a video uploading right now so I really need to check on that and make sure I have all my tags and things in for that. I've also got a few other things I need to do just uh, tonight so I won't be able to get back onto the camera to give you an update but if anything dramatic changes I will let you know in the description box. So yeah that is it for this video guys. I really hope you liked and enjoyed this little review and wear test on the new Flower Beauty bits there. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you really did like the video then give it a big thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button just down below if you're brand new to my channel and I'll speak to you very soon in my next video. Bye!